Hi everyone, Glenn Stevens from Xamarin University here. I'm just going to do a very quick lightning lecture on one of the new features on Xamarin iOS, which is the weak attribute. And it's an interesting challenge, and in fact it solves something that could potentially cause you memory leaks within your application. So it's a very small technique, but I think it's very useful. Now on the screen you can see I've got a really simple application. It's got a UI navigation controller. I've got a main view controller here, and this main view controller has a button that'll show my table view controller. Now my table view controller I know has a memory leak within it. In fact, if we look at the code, what we can see is I've got an instance of my table view controller. It's creating a UI table view source. And this is my custom UI table view source here called my table view source. And you can see I'm passing a reference to the instance of my table view controller. And if I have a look at my table view source in its constructor, well, you can see that we're storing a reference to the controller as well. So this is a classic problem we have with iOS where we have circular references, where we've got our table view controller has a reference to the, the table view source and the table view source has a reference to the table view controller. In this situation, we can't release either of those objects because each of those objects are strong roots and because they're strong roots, they have a reference to each other. And the garbage collector says, well, we can't release that just yet. So what we normally do in those situations is we might create a weak reference or we might have some process of our code be set up to deallocate that object. We need to know when the table view controller is being deallocated. So we can see the dispose call here on the view controller so we can know if it's actually being picked up by the garbage collector. So I'm going to run the application. Let's have a look at the simulator when it pops up. So here we're going to show the list and when we pop that particular UI table view controller off the stack, well, it's not actually being disposed. We can't see anything showing up. We should see this console write line call coming through, but that's not happening. Now, what we can do instead is use this amazingly new attribute, such a simple thing to do, called the weak attribute. So you can see here in the constructor of my table view source, I've got a reference to my table view controller and I'm storing that locally. I'm storing it here as a property what I can do is use the weak attribute. So what that will do is internally, it'll convert this particular field, and I should mention it only works on fields. It was a property definition before, I have to change it to a field in order to work. But it will convert this controller into now a weak reference of my table view controller. Essentially, this won't be considered a live reference to the my table view controller. And that will allow it to be picked up and cleaned up by the garbage collector. So let's go ahead and run this again. Just such a simple change. We'll show the list. We'll pop it off the stack. And now you can see that that UI table view controller has been cleared. So using the weak attribute is really helpful when you have these cyclic references where you have one iOS control that's referencing another control and there's a circular reference involved and that can help you with your memory management. If I showed that particular table view controller 20 times in my application, but it was still holding onto those references, you know what? I'd be leaking 20 instances of that table view controller. But with a weak reference, we don't need to worry so much. Something else to consider is if you do have a memory leak in your application or you suspect that you do, make sure you use the Xamarin Profiler to analyze and look for those particular challenges. It'll give you real data about which objects are in fact being collected or not. So that's a look at the weak attribute. My name is Glenn Stevens, and I hope to see you in some of our Xamarin University live classes.